Hello everyone, this is Matt from SocialMTG and PlantStyling.com and this is the first in a series of videos regarding the MTGO beta client. What we're trying to do here is help people use it and get people adjusted to the new client. So, this video is for first time users of Magic Online. If you are familiar with how to use Magic Online, go ahead and skip to the next one because today we're going to be going over how to create an account and how to download the client. So, to get started here, first thing you want to do is open up your preferred internet browser and you're just going to want to go ahead and search MTGO Client. From there, you're going to want to click on this top link, New Account Creation. So, I'll put this link in the comments or in the description of the video, I guess. Here's where you're going to create your account and download the client. To create your account, just click on that button. So, what this is going to entail is you're going to pay $10, and Wizards is going to give you this stuff. What is this stuff? So, what matters are the event tickets, new player points, and access to Magic Online. This means you can use Magic Online. That's a plus. And necessary. Five event tickets. So event tickets are basically money in Magic Online. They are the currency that you use. The translation is one dollar per event ticket. You would use them to buy cards off bots, to buy packs off bots, or to get into events. Hence being called event tickets. New player points. These are unique to creating an account. So Every two points will get you into a new player phantom event. The phantom events are draft and sealed using packs of the most recent core set. The winner gets one pack of that most recent core set. And everyone who wins one match gets a promo. So, if you can win 50% of them, you'll be breaking even, which isn't too bad. It's about as good as you can hope to do in Magic Online. Um, what else is noteworthy about those? So, it's four people per event, which is fine for sealed, but for draft it's not optimal because it's not a real format. You're not going to be getting the same prize pool, and, or the same, sorry, not prize pool, uh, selection pool as you would in normal draft. So it's n not necessarily the best for learning how to play Magic. Sealed is going to be much better for getting you a real experience. Um, all around, pretty fun. And you're going to be playing with people that are usually new to the game. So that's a plus. Easier to win. So once you have your account created, you're going to want to download the client. So once again, the same link that we were just in. Click download now. So it's kind of hard to tell which one is selected or not. You want the wide beta version. You can tell it's selected because it's outlined, but another way to tell is if you look at the requirements like memory, one gigabyte of memory required, that's going to be a lot higher than the current version which merely requires 256. Which these requirement differences are why a lot of people complain about the new versus the old I think. They complain the new one crashes on their computer because it's actually in whereas the old one, that's nothing on a computer. But Assuming your computer can handle it, you definitely want the beta. It's not actually that intensive. And it's a lot more user friendly and it's what Wizards is pushing right now. They plan to eventually just completely get rid of this current version for the beta. So you're just going to click download now. It'll bring up this little file, setup.exe. Yours shouldn't be 9. That is for me shooting this video many times to get it right. If you click on that, it'll open up an installer, kind of like any application would use. You're going to go through the motions there. Once you're done, it'll bring up something like this. You will have a terms and conditions type thing to accept. You won't be able to click accept immediately. What you want to do is scroll down to the bottom, and then you'll be able to hit accept. It's kind of their version of simulating that, yeah, they probably read it, or, you know, pretending that you read it. And from there, you can start Magic Online and get straight into those new player sealed events. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be bringing you more videos in the future. If you have anything specifically, 
feel free to leave that in the comments and we will get to those requests as soon as possible. Enjoy!